Hello, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trisha if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. I'm glad to see you. Or I guess I'm glad you can see my yard. I have decided to weave a table runner for my Thanksgiving table. We have an eight foot table with a gold tablecloth and I don't have a runner for it. So right now, I know that the two skeins that are upright at the back, which are Malabrigo Arroyo in the colorway Petrichor, are gonna be the weft. And I am looking for warp yarns in my collection of like odds and ends and single skeins and stuff. So this is just kind of how I picked it out. I knew I was going to make a striped warp. I thought I might add some texture to the weft, but I did not end up doing that. And I thought I would take you guys along for the ride. So in the picture, besides the Malabrigo, there is a skein of hand spun. The ball I'm holding is also hand spun. And the rest right now is Knit Picks, Will of the Andes. Um, in the warp that actually happens, I ended up using the russet skein of hand spun, the dark ball of hand spun, and then some cranberry wool of the Andes that I will be picking out in a minute. And right now I'm really just looking for stuff that's Thanksgiving-y and that will go with my gold tablecloth and look really cool with a Malabrigo. This is similar to most of my processes, so I will just kind of like go through all my odds and ends because I really like the striped warps and the all kind of different asymmetrical warps sometimes. So first I just pull out a bunch of things that I can use that are in single skeins or leftovers and go from there. So I had a big collection, but I'm gonna show you just the ones I ended up going with. I always just pull out a whole bunch. So this is some hand spun russet um, Shetland that I thought would be perfect for warp. It is quite strong. Um, it's not very thick, but it's quite strong. It's sport weight. And this is some hand spun CVM that is left over from a sweater. And last is some Will of the Andes Cranberry colorway from Knit Picks that is in there too. This is the weft. It is two skeins of Malabrigo, Arroyo, and the colorway is Petrichor. So let's get this loom warped. Okay, so I'm just gonna set up my warping bar. It is clamped to the countertop already, and it's 19.3 inches wide. So I'm gonna do 10 pegs on either side of the center and put an inch of warp on each, and then there'll be a little bit left over for the, for the 20th peg. I'm just going to measure the length from my loom to the warping bar. I did warp like seven and a half feet. I used the Weevolution calculator to figure out how long to do my warp to get a six foot runner. I feel like I have to show you guys all my goofy little notes and things. So I'm trying to plan the warp here and just make it really easy and simple. And I ended up changing it like three different times while I was warping and seeing the proportions. But this is really all I did to plan it out and give myself a note on how many of each warp end to do for each color. So I've worked my whole chart. I'm tight down with my bar. 
I'm gonna take out my pegs. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pegs out. Oh, I tied that one. Dressing mylar, you can find it in the link below. I can get it right. And you just roll it. You can really see it that way. Okay, so next I'm just going to get a warp separator in here to make sure my warp stays even and then I'm going to wind onto the back beam while I wind off the warping bar. So now it's completely wound on and all I have to do is take the wing nuts off and slide the warping bar off. I actually usually only loosen one side and then it'll just open up enough to just kind of pull it off. So this is the point where I will cut all my loops and then slay the holes and then um, tie to the apron bar and then I can weave.
not 100% sure if you'll be able to see this, but one of these plies, oh, you can a little bit. One of these plies was joined and apparently I didn't do a very good job of it and it was like freeing as I was going back and forth with the rigid heddle. So I have spit felted this. <laughs> and now I'm just like praying that I can get past it before it frays. I might go over it one more time. Has anyone else ever tried this? It's felted pretty well. I mean, I can feel that it's like, you know, interlocked over the ply that was intact, but I think I'm gonna go at this one more time. I'm just trying to get through, guys. I'm just trying to get through. So I have finished my weaving and I'm going to go ahead and hem stitch this guy so I can cut it off my loom. So excited! I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful a step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell you and me were meant to be